Today I'm reviewing the Max Wedges from the Golf Works. Let's get started. Hey golfers, Dave from Fit to Golf. Golf Works recently updated their old uh, MS series of, of wedges, uh, a design that I really liked. In fact, I own several of these to the new Max Wedge. Uh, now, some of the ways that these are the same um, are that they offer various sole widths. And I think every recreational golfer should be carrying at least one wide wedge, one wide sole wedge, because the, uh, the added width adds effective bounce and that makes it uh, more forgiving out of like soft sand and, and wet rough. The original uh, series had uh, a black, uh, a diamondized black uh, metallic finish, which held up really well on the on the back side of the wedge, but not so much on the face, uh, especially hitting out of sand and you know kind of uh, tough grassy lies. Um, obviously, uh, this one has a uh, kind of a satin nickel finish on it, which I think will will hold up better. Another difference with the uh, original line was they offered three sole widths, a, uh, a tour, a wide, and an extra wide. They've dropped the extra wide, and now they have standard and wide. The the uh, the standard width, um, this is actually the wide width here, is um, uh, nine-tenths of an inch wide, and the and the wide is just over one inch wide. The um, other, though, main difference in, in the design is the uh, addition of these uh, weight screws. Um, they they are removable and you can purchase lighter or heavier weights so that you can make adjustments in feel and swing weight. Uh, I really like this idea because, you know, as a club maker, if I want to manipulate swing weight, uh, I got to take something apart. I either have to pull the head and put a tip weight in um, or I have to do something at the other end, like a lighter weight grip or uh, change the length or, or something like this. This makes it really easy. And the ranges um, are pretty substantial. For the um, traditional sole width, I believe they go from a uh, minus four grams up to plus six grams. Um, so that's, that's 10 gram difference, that's five swing weights. Most golfers are gonna be able to feel something in that range. Um, the wider sole, because it's already a little bit heavier, um, the adjustments are less, I think minus two and a half degrees um, up to four. But again, still three swing weights, something a lot of golfers will be able to feel. So this is kind of a way to fine tune the feel and swing weight of your wedges. And and I'm, I'm happy to see this technology applied to wedges because we see it in some of the other Golf Works products, some of their iron designs and a lot of their um, drivers and um, the fairy wood designs. Uh, the weights are pretty cheap, I think a little over two bucks each, and they're easily removable with either an Allen wrench or a Torx 25 uh, wrench, which is the same as most um, torque wrenches for drivers. So a few other details about uh, the, the looks and construction of these wedge heads. They do have the multi-groove technology, which means that Golf Works has added extra grooves to the face. Um, this is supposed to help impart more spin on uh, shots that are that are less than the full swing. It's kind of a, a tall toe, not quite the high toe design that you'll see in another manufacturer, but uh, fairly tall, which gives some uh, forgiveness out of, say, um, long grass or rough. And uh, it has a nice, as I said before, nickel satin finish. It's really an attractive wedge with some uh, score lines milled into the the sole of the club. This gives it a nice look. Um, they're, they're not very deep. I, I imagine they're mainly cosmetic. Perhaps they could do something for turf interaction, but it does add something to the design. I paired these wedge heads with a FST high rev wedge shaft. Um, these are fairly stiff uh, and uh, that's kind of how I like my wedges. I like them to be a little heavier and stiffer, particularly if I'm not going to be taking a lot of full shots with them. Uh, they uh, are cut at 35 and a quarter inches long. They have a 58 gram mid-size grip on the end, and even with that heavy grip, uh, they do swing weight at D6.5. Okay, so let me talk about feel and performance. Uh, before I put the swings and the data up uh, that I collected, I, I, I want to just add a caveat here. 
Um, I filmed these swings and collected the data five weeks after I had a total hip replacement surgery on my right hip. Uh, and so my, my swings, even though I was just going for a, a 50 yard shot and a 75 yard shot with both these wedges, my swings a little shaky. The ball contact was a little shaky. I had to collect quite a bit of data to get some, uh, you know, some usable shots um, that were that were reliable. And uh, as a result, I don't think I got the full performance that's available in these wedges. And you'll see that when I talk about the numbers, particularly the spin. But anyway, let me put up swings. As I said, um, I was trying to achieve a 50 yard carry with both wedges and then a 75 yard carry. And um, I found that, you know, these were pretty easy to dial in in terms of distance. Of course, some of that is just familiar with those shots. Um, they're, a, uh, they're a cast head, uh, they, and they're not pretending to be forged. They don't feel forged, but they're not overly, overly hard or offensive in any way. They feel pretty good when you hit the sweet spot. And they also feel pretty good even out towards the toe because there is some extra weight there. So in terms of the data, when I was hitting 50 yard shots with the 58 degree wedge, uh, I was getting ball speeds of 51 miles an hour, swinging at 57 miles an hour. I was getting carries at 46 yards, launching at 38 degrees, and a spin of 67.50. With the 54 degree wedge, again trying to achieve a 50 yard shot, I was getting ball speeds of 52 miles an hour, swinging at 54 miles an hour, carrying at 48 yards, uh, launching at 42 and spinning at 6,300. Uh, I don't think those are particularly bad numbers for, for partial shots, but I still think there's, there's some more spin available in these wedges. Now for the 75 yard shots with the 58 degree wedge, um, I was getting ball speeds of 66 miles an hour, swing at 71 miles an hour. Uh, it was carrying 72 yards, launching at 38, spinning at 5,800. For the 54 degree wedge, I was getting ball speeds of 67 miles an hour, swing at 65 miles an hour. Uh, it was carrying 73 yards, launching at 39 and spinning at 5,600. I know that's a lot of numbers to digest, but really what I'm trying to demonstrate here is, you know, these are, these are solid wedges. I did play several rounds with them in kind of fall to late fall conditions. Um, so I was able to play on some dry courses, also some kind of, you know, wet dewy courses. And I found them to be really effective wedges, very versatile, um, very reliable. I like the weight of them. And uh, so they perform well, not just hitting off a, uh, off a mat um, at the range. So in terms of conclusions, I'm not going to give this a rating again, because I just don't think I was able to get everything out of the wedge in terms of spin. And maybe I'll revisit this down the road um, as my swing gets kind of back and to where it was and hopefully better now that I have a healthy hip. But I will say that I recommend these wedges highly. They're nice looking, they're, they're good performers. Now they are expensive. Um, they're expensive in the component world. They're $50 a wedge. And I imagine that's because it takes some extra cost to, to put those screw ports in to machine those in. Now, still very reasonable. Um, and for this innovative design, I think it's worth it. But just to give you a comparison, my favorite wedge in the Golf Works line is the TSW. That's a forged wedge and it's, you know, $10 cheaper or $8 cheaper, something like that. And, you know, it, it does come with a different feel. However, you don't get, you know, kind of the choice of sole widths across lofts. So I'm actually thinking of doing a combination set here of um, a, a gap wedge in the in the TSW, depending on which set I'm using, a 50 degree or 52, and then maybe a, um, a 56 or 58 in, um, in the max lineup. So there's a review. Um, you know, hope you liked it. If uh, you have questions, you have comments, please uh, do post them. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. Um, it's uh, kind of early January here in the Northeast when I'm filming the video. Uh, the narrative part and so there is not any outdoor golf right now but if you're in a warm climate get out there play some golf if you're not get indoors with simulator play some golf and stay positive <laughs>